Hey everyone, MTAS here, and today I want to talk about using cover and when to peek. Now, if you're in a gunfight with a guy, you pull the trigger a couple times, he shoots you, you shoot him, but no one dies, moving into cover is a very big decision to make. Because the second you move into cover, you no longer have vision of this player. He no longer has vision of you, but in a situation like this where he wouldn't really have any cover, when you do this, he now has an opportunity to hard scope this lane. He can be in the middle of this field like this, and he can just be aiming right here. The second you pop out, your shoulder comes around cover, rah, he can shoot you, and hopefully he'll kill you. But you need to pop out of cover, and you need to figure out, oh, where he is? You know, wh where is this guy? If he decides to strafe a little bit, or to move, when you pop out of cover, he has a very, very good idea of where you're going to be, and you might have no clue. Is he right here? Is he by the Vandal? Is he on the left side now? You're not really sure. Unless you have something like the faux tra uh, tracer that I have on right now, you could get a pretty good idea, right? You could use that to your advantage. But when you lose that vision, you also are putting yourself at a bit of a disadvantage. Now, you also start bringing recovery into the equation when you pop behind cover. If you're a Titan with low recovery and the player out in that field, you know, that Vandal over there is a Warlock with high recovery, if you decide to pop out here and hide for a little bit of your health, you're actually putting that other player at an advantage because the more recovery you have, the quicker you're going to get your health back. So if you're hiding here, okay, waiting, 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 oh, I got a little bit of my health back and you decide to pop out, that Warlock might have full HP. You just screwed yourself in this gunfight by going behind cover. Instead of finishing the fight when you all had the same HP, you're now putting yourself at a disadvantage. Granted, you could hide forever and just wait until everyone has full HP, but then you have an even worse idea of where this player is, and he might be gone. He's on a different angle. Maybe he went all the way up there. You have no idea. So going behind cover is a very big decision to make in a gunfight. Now... Is it always a disadvantage? Absolutely not. Because let's say you're in a fight, one, two, three, he needs one shot, I pop behind cover, and then quickly slide out. That can be very, very sneaky. The player that's out in the middle of the field with no cover, he has to react to a very quick movement, a slide, a movement, a jump. You can pop out of cover, and while I wouldn't recommend jumping because of the aim, uh, like, it's really hard to aim in the air, you can really trick the guy when popping out of cover and do things unexpectedly. When you're in the middle of a duel, one, two, three, one shot is needed to kill you. If you just keep dueling, you might trade. He might kill you, you might kill him. It's really, honestly, it's, it's up in the air, whose aim is better kind of thing. But if you pop behind cover and then pop out really quickly, that player is not going to expect it. Because the second you move behind cover, he thinks, okay, this guy's scared. He's, you know, he's not ready to fight. He's running away. So if you instantly pop out and are aggressive again, it really might catch him off guard. It's not always going to catch him off guard, but you need to think, how can I outplay this opponent using this cover? The other thing too is maybe it's a pillar, and you can not only shoot this guy and pop behind cover, you could pop out the other way and shoot him there. And he now has to adjust to this huge change in where you are on the map, and you have a pretty good idea where he is. If he's in this field, there's not a lot of places he can go. You shoot him, ma but you go behind cover, you slide this way and shoot, there's going to be a very good chance that you catch this motherfucker off guard. And he has no chance. He'll, he'll still be hard scoping this lane. Because statistically, if you're out in this field and a guy goes behind cover, your safest bet is to just hard scope this lane. If he wants to win this fight, he should be looking here. So, if you all of a sudden slide out here, oh fuck, you're dead. There's no chance. Now, if you're a good player in this field, you're going to recognize, huh, he hasn't popped out in a while. Maybe he went out this way. And uh, and then, you know, you're, you, he's waiting for you. By the time you make it over here, he's already waiting for you. But when you have the cover, you also have an advantage of knowing where he is and he doesn't know where you are. Are you going to pop out this way quick? Are you going to the other side? Maybe you wait a really weird time. Maybe you go, ra, ra, ra. You hide behind cover. He thinks, oh, he's going to the, he's going to go to the left. He's going to the left. And then you slide out this way. You can really mess with the player's mind when you do this. If you've got a rock, maybe you wait, da, 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 and then you jump up on top. There's a lot of ways you can use this cover to your advantage. But you need to think, is my recovery high? Can I take advantage of this? Is this player out in the open? 
etc, etc. Popping out of cover is not always an advantage. In some cases, it's a disadvantage. Oh, oh, oh! There's enemies incoming! I need to get the fuck out of here! Okay, before we move on, I also want to talk about changing up your angle a little bit when you're leaving cover. So let's say you're both shooting each other, whether it's a sniper or not. If you're low HP, if he's got a sniper aimed at your head, if you pop out of cover and he's ready for it, you're going to die. It's going to be very hard to, to leave cover and not just get your head ripped off, right? But let's say he's behind this rock here, right, right there, and you pop out of cover. At this point, it is, uh, it's who shoots first. You know, he's got to react to you coming out of cover. You've got to target acquire him. It's going to be who's the better sniper in a lot of these situations. But if you were to crouch and adjust your aim a little bit, you might catch him off guard because if this guy decides not to move, the guy behind this rock isn't moving whatsoever. He's just hard scoping that lane. You actually have a bit of an advantage because you go behind cover. He decides not to move. You crouch, you adjust your aim and you pop back out. You might be able to hit him, target acquire him, faster than he can a target acquire you same thing goes if you were to shoot he shoots no one dies you go behind cover and you decide i'm gonna just back up and then pop out you're at a very different angle than what he is used to or what he's ready for and he's approximately in the same spot so even though we're both popping out we have to target acquire if you decide i'm gonna change up my angle and back up you actually put yourself at a really big advantage because he's not expecting you to be this far away now. He's hard scoping you right on this angle. He's trying to hit your head right here. So all of a sudden, holy fuck, he's back here. That's a big, big change up. So you can use cover to your advantage. You can outplay your opponents. But in a lot of situations, if you're peeking and he's hard scoping, he does have the advantage. You need to be tricky. You need to slide out. You need to change your angle and use it to your advantage or else you're just asking to get shot in the face. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I see a lot of players who are very um, uh, predictable with their usage of cover. They don't pop out at weird, ang weird angles. You know, they don't pop out at weird times. It's very expected what they do. So the next time you're behind a pillar and you're trying to kill someone, think, what should I do to trick this guy? Do I pop out quickly? Do I wait a couple of seconds? Do I pop out the other side? Do I jump up on top? Make it hard for him to hit you. Because if he's in the middle of a field, you're going to come out on top more often than not. That's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.